Hey, it's Erica with Traveling Tree 73 and today we're going to be talking about this most amazing book that I have just read and it's amazing and it's Ferris by Marissa Meyer. <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm fangirling so bad about this. Um, it's, I love it. <sighs> so I started reading The Lunar Chronicles. Um, right after I got out of the Navy in 2012 I started with Cinder and then quickly after that Scarlet came out and then Crestus came out and now well not just but you know what I mean and now we're waiting for winter to come out and when I found out that they made this and I didn't even know until another booktuber talked about it and I was like oh my goodness so then they made this and it's the prequel to the Lunar Chronicles and it talks about Queen Lavanna and her how she became how she is basically and it's really good so like um so basically without any spoilers it's just about Lavanna and it starts when she's 15 and it's about her growing up and trying to find love in all the wrong places and how she ends up with a stepdaughter named Winter whom the last book will be about and you know it just kind of like it kind of ties in all the little things and the people from the Lunar Chronicles and kind of ties them all together so you get a bigger picture and you can really understand the world better and where how it all started how this whole the whole Lunar Chronicles got started and it's all basically because of Lavana and her sister and her parents um so now it's time for spoilers spoilers and let's talk about how freaking amazing this book is. So Lavana is 15 when this book starts and she's in love with a guard named Everett and she he's married and has a pregnant wife and she gives birth and she dies and Lavana is like great now I can marry him and she like uses her powers that she has and she manipulates him and forces him to like get together with her and marry her and she's like this is great you're gonna love me I know you do love me and I'm gonna love your daughter and then all this like it kind of like all this other stuff happens like that's just the like that's the main plot of the story but then there's all the side plots about her you know starting the plague letumosis on earth and the antidote and the shells and you know it starts all these other things up in it too but the main plot is about her and Everett and how she wants him to love her but he doesn't he doesn't love her and it's just really sad because she's obviously really mentally ill because her sister like how she became like why she wears the veil is because she's all burned on one side of her body because her sister put her in the fire when she was just a child and so now she's like horribly disfigured and that's why she wears a glamour and she wears a veil so no one can see what she really looks like. She only shows her husband like once what she looks like and it doesn't really end well for her. And it's just really sad. Like you just, you feel really bad for her. She's evil, but you feel bad for her. Which is just really interesting. I love that Marissa Maya was able to go back in and she was able to give us this like really horrible evil queen but then go back in and be like but she got here some way she used to be a child you know she used to be you know she used to be as normal as normal could be living on the moon and stuff happened to her and she she's clearly mentally ill and trying to make the trying to make the most out of her life i guess the only way she knows how and like i said earlier she's trying to find love in all the wrong places and it's really good. It's really short though. It's only like 222 pages. But then at the end, you get an excerpt from Winter, which I have not read. I do not read excerpts because it makes me angry when I can't finish the book right away. So I will not be reading the excerpt from Winter. And um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say about Ferris. It's really good. It's really interesting. It's very well written. And um, I actually think it's written better than excuse me better than the others almost like she's matured in her writing Marissa Meyer has and she's gotten better and I don't know that could just be me saying that I don't know that's all I'm gonna say I'm done now cut the camera